the fall fashion shows are approaching. What are you working on? Well, I'm working on two things concurrently. I am working on my um, regular collection, which is going to be my fall 2015 collection. And I'm also working on my JCPenney collection, my Nicole by Nicole Miller collection for fall 2015 as well. And the clothes are going to be like very colorful and rich this season. What and, kinds uh, of colors? A lot of, lot of prints. Well, there's like a lot of plums and wines and rusts and forest greens. So it's going to be like a very, very rich, colorful collection. And you're primarily an artist, but you also have to think about what the consumer wants, what the buyer wants. Does that ever compromise your artistic integrity? I feel like I've been on the right wavelength for the most part, but um, you know, I'm always open to like, you know, if somebody finds like a fabric is itchy or if somebody complains about like the fit or something. You know, I like getting that kind of feedback as much as I can. I mean, I wish I got more feedback. I like to see what sells and what doesn't sell. And so I always get my sales tallies from my regular line and also from my line from JCPenney. And I'm always very aware of what the best sellers are and what the weaker sellers are. You know, and things change. Last year we did really, really well with a beaded collar. It was like the most phenomenal thing. This year it wasn't as strong. So trends kind of evolve and they move on. So, you know, we either have to find, you know, a different solution or a more interesting way of doing it. Have you ever made a huge mistake? that you learned from? I can't think of anything recently, but I remember a long time ago we had a like beaded top and skirt that was for a department store and uh, nobody double checked the beading and the beads all popped off. That's, that's right. So that was no fun. I can imagine. So yeah, we had to take all of those back. So, but I mean, that was a production thing, so. Any advice you'd give to a young designer starting out? Oh, well, I always tell them they should learn how to sing since they're going to be competing with <laughs> every singer out there who has a clothing line. I don't know. I just think at this point it's very good to be multifaceted because that's the way the world is now. Like everybody out there is, you know, is very involved in a lot of different things and, and different media. So it, it's really good to have a lot of different interests today, be involved in a lot of different things. How do real designers feel about all those musical artists coming out with their clothing line that don't know anything necessarily about fashion. Well, it's interesting, but I mean, I really, I feel bad for the designers who are actually designing the clothing because when you go to design school, I don't think your vision is to be in the back room working for, you know, just a licensed line for somebody. I think everybody really wants to have their name on a line or they want to work for a designer who is a designer. So. I don't know. I, I think it's a, it's a curious phenomenon that we have now.